Hello there, everyone. This is Mark 3 and welcome back to Monster World. Monster Hunter World. Yes. Well, I'm afraid I am not accompanied by the voices in my head this time out. And that's because I realised that after last time I stopped, um, there's still a bit more tutorials to do before I can do things. Like, it wants me to go to a smithy and I want to test my weapons. I've been trying them in the training grounds, trying to figure out what I want to do, but it's like, um, I need things to that hit back, you know? Until I actually try them properly in the field, I'm not going to be 100% sold. Um, Clint has been progressing beyond me. We both started at the same time, by the by. And he's chosen the Change Axe as his weapon. And honestly, after mucking around to the train ground, I was going towards either the, uh, the Change Axe or the Charge Sword. Well, ones I was thinking of trying out. But he's gone with Change Axe, which honestly I think flows better, but this one's got some resource management thing in it, but um, yeah, we're going to be trying with the charged sword, we just have to get that far. Also, there's people to meet around town, there's um, these guys who were so happy to see me on the boat, they have actually arrived. Excitable A-lister and serious A-lister. Okay, can't really talk to them though. So, I need to go out to the smithy and get my handler to stop pestering me, basically. Now that you've got some materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them? Okay, okay. So yeah, we're going to be starting out going around town. There's uh, a few things as you can see, like, um, there's an outlet from uh, the event manager. That's the one with the smithy, I believe. Take me to the workshop, please. But we're still meeting the denizens of the town, so that's why I'm solo on this particular part. Oh, that's a newcomer. Hi, second fleet master. Okay. Notice the equipment is on. Um... <laughs> Where does this even come from? Oh, it just comes out the back of the fire. I I continue to have questions about this forging setup, but okay, Smithy. Hi. There you are, favor. Ah, look who's back with materials. Step right up and welcome to the smithy. You've been needing my services a lot. What I do for you is simple. When you're out in the field and gather materials, I turn the materials into weapons and armor. Drop by whenever you find something new and interesting. I'm finding your conveyor belt very interesting, I must admit. Oh, cannon. Is that cannon parts? <laughs> no, that's lance, actually. Yeah, I, that's why I was trying to get um, a better feel for some of the weapons. Like, I didn't like how the Lancer Shield felt last time out. I didn't realise how sluggish it was. So, this should suit me better, I think. Mm. Yeah, I'll give you some materials to work, person. You can use them to upgrade your equipment. Thank you. So, what are we hamming together this time? Pretty apt. Uh, Monster minerals and ore to forge and upgrade equipment to the smithy. Give them materials you earn as quest rewards, or carve them from monsters to the smithy. To or carve monsters, give the smithy to create new equipment, taking on even tougher monsters. Yeah, so I missed on a bit of loop for some lizard bodies, but it's like, I'll be able to get more. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Right. Honestly, Clint said um, he thought I'd take the, not the big great sword, but the normal sword. And I honestly felt that was kind of cumbersome as well. So that's why I, I didn't try and go in there. It was like um, the Iron Katana, I think, was the one he was referring to. I found it kind of sluggish. Nothing like the, the smaller sword and shield. This thing has much faster attack. The daggers are also really fast, but they have more limited range as well. But the Buster Sword felt slow, and right now I'm not sure I can handle being super slow, you know? So, anyway. Um, this is the uh, Pros of Commission Axe 2. So you want to upgrade, choose materials to upgrade different weapons and variety of improved stats. Want uh, more base weapons to enhance, you can create more by selecting forge equipment smithy or by purchasing them in the army. Upgrade weapons can also be downgraded, the materials used to upgrade the weapon will be re returned to you. So this weapon with the cursor, press add to wish list. Once you acquire all the items and materials to create a wish list item, you receive a message. You can add weapons and armor to your wish list from the forge equipment screen. Okay. So this the I think the there's individual upgrade trees from what I've vaguely seen. So it's like um, there are some specialised variants around. There's I see there's a, a bone 
equivalent. There's a bone version here. A bone strong arm. What's the difference? I'll just upgrade this one to level two. Let's go. I'll explore the... I didn't tell you to use the bone one, but they've just dumped some bones into the forge anyway. Thank you. It's shiny. Very nice. And then there's a couple of unknowns here, but one of them... If I get something from a tree of unknown type, I can go into a water affinity from this one. Or I can keep progressing on my current one, which is... Well, boost me up to rank 2, but these materials are not found yet as well. Ooh, that's actually a defender type one. What is it, shift compare? Oh, the def... Ooh, ex blast type. Impact file. Different files have different effects, it seems. But in the impact seems to be what I'm seeing at the moment. Um, it has better sharpness characteristics. Well, actually... Protoax degrades kind of quickly at the top end, but then it starts to degrade more slowly as you reach different levels of sharpness. This, by the way, is like, um, you need to get a weapon and, and maintain your weapon in the field. The defense shield has a massive amount of time on green, and then it has very short bars on the others, so it's like, once it tops out of green, it degrades real quick. Hmm. Interesting. So no, compared to the one I just came from, this one, the one I just came from has less green, but it has a longer yellow section, so this one does need a bit more maintenance to keep it in top condition. Now, for the Defender line of weapons, the Smithy. These weapons are geared towards the Commission's Defense Corps. These weapons feature high proficiency and are fantastic starter weapons for hunters who have just arrived in New World part of the Research Commission. Forge equipment, weapons, weapon type, navigate defender, weapon tree, and you set. Note, all weapons have a defender weapon tree. Okay, so it actually wants me to create a defender one. All weapons can customize with pendants, customize appearance. Pendants can be equipped with the smithy, um, set of forge pendants. Also, obtain them various other ways. To equip pendants of weapon, open the item box, go to the pen settings. No better way to tell your weapons I love you than sticking decorations on it. Note, pendants have no function in combat. Ah, you could have mentioned that at the start. Okay. Yeah, sure. The weapons are created by forging. Most weapons, however, cannot be created by forging equipment. Instead, you have to make a base weapon first and then upgrade it into the more powerful weapon via the upgrade equipment upgrade. All armor can be created via forge. Equipment skills are helpful skills that remain active as long as you have the piece of equipment equipped. Yeah, like we've got decent skills from, from our armor sets. We covered that last time I was playing. Uh, each armor set has own skills. Be sure to keep an eye out for skills when forging and upgrade your gear. Multiple pieces of gear share a skill. Their skills level will be the sum of the pieces equipped. Equip sets of gear the same skills to power up those skills effects. Okay. Well, I want to forge a... Sorry, not, yeah, switch axe. It's charge blade. And the... Def the Defender is actually more powerful than the base, and I think my upgraded one as well. So, sure, let's actually create the Defender one. The workers are so cheerful in them. Why are they dropping bones into the forge again? Ooh, it's a different shield appearance. Equip now? Yep, it's an upgrade. I think. <laughs> Maybe. Though I did notice... Um, the, they aren't any more intermediate, so right now it's good starting out, but then other equipment might be eclipsing it. But still, plus 30% um, odd attack power, I'm not going to sniff at that. As well as the better range for green. But there's other options we had in there too. Um, give me a sec, I'll, I'll just continue to look around. Okay, so... I've got from him, I've got a shiny bigger shield, it looks like. Though that is also the axe head, as you'll see shortly. Uh, armory. My, my, my. There you go, newcomer. You look a lot more hunterly with a weapon on your back. This is true, I did turn up without a weapon. See, armory deal ready made weapons and armor. 
If you need a weapon ASAP and don't have time to gather materials, we are your tickets. So, newcomer, take care of luck. Okay. Arms um, coming. Sorry, Defenderless Arm Sets is equipment specially designed to use by defense course. Now available for purchase at the Army. Defender Alpha boasts essentially high defense capabilities. Um, isn't that what I've got? Uh, Divine Blessing, Health Boost, Recovery Up. Yes. I'm guessing I can buy a Defender Army. Yeah, I can. There it is, Defender Alpha. So. Yeah. This is where you can get it. This is ready made. So basically, I'm using the ready made stuff to make the things easier, but I can also buy basic weaponry, it seems, as well. Providing I'm willing to spend the money, but I'm, I've only got so much money. So, must go ahead. I can also sell my equipment that's spare if I want to. But I need to speak to the handler. I'm also kind of curious about these quest markers around the place, too. That's an item box. This is a. Oops. Yes, I still can't use the quest boards, you see. That, that's why I've not been able to leave the camp. I need to find how to get out of here. Mr. Airship Engineer. Hello. So, the fifth has arrived. Yes, very dramatically, actually. Greetings. Greetings there. I'm the Airship Engineer with the Second Fleet. I work on flight machines, airships, and what have you. I'm sure you're curious about why you haven't met a number of the third yet. That's because they've all been stranded for years. Oh, wasn't long after the scholars of, from the third landed before they insist upon crossing the Great Ravine. So they got their ship converted into an airship and off they went. It was going well until just after they crossed the ravine, a flying monster attacked their airship and grounded them. Sure, they are reckless to go, but seeing as I'm the man who put them in the air, I can't simply feel partly responsible for it all. Ever since then, I've been working on making a better airship, one that we could use to go and rescue them. But between the new world's nasty weather and the strong winds hurting down the ravine, it's been one failure after another. Still, you won't catch me calling it quits. Hmm. Very motivated of you. Nice. He's, he thinks he's did the thing, so he's going to try and write it. He's just trying to figure out what he needs for the shiny new airship. Might as well speak to the lady down there about the uh, event, so... Hi, lady. What you got for me? Oh, hello. Hello, Fiver. All ready to open on a tavern and gathering hub. The Celestial Pursuits. At the gathering hub, you can meet up with other hunters and embark on quests together. To find the Celestial Pursuit, just look up. See that ship atop of stereo that looks like it's about to sail off to the stars? That's it. You get up there by taking the left. Please come visit us as soon as you get the chance. Okay, so that's what that is. I accidentally went up there and it gave me a quick, a brief camera overview of the area. And then it's like, hmm, I should probably be recording if I'm going to exploring a place like that to turn around and left. <laughs> it's like, um, let's see. I do need to speak to the platter. This is, this is the supply trader. Hi. Sorry. Hi buddy, look for something, got provisions, provisions, more provisions, provisions galore. I think this guy has provisions. So, what do you need? And then I can buy two my pouch, or two the box. And I can buy traps and files and ammo and bunch of stuff in here. I don't think I have binoculars, actually. Might be a good idea to pick one of them. Thank you. It's a boomerang, don't know. Um, for the return, so it's user when thrown. Okay. And I'm carrying a load of ammo. Well, yeah, let's leave that be. Right. Handler, where are you? Oh, hello. Someone new up here. I think this one might be the archivist of some kind. Yeah, chief, chief ecologist. Yes. Hunter from Fifth, are you? Then you must have finished your first quest. Yes. Ecological research, headed up by yours truly. Tell me, did you find any monster data out there? Tracks, gashes, that kind of thing? The data tells a story about the monsters. An elaborate and interesting one at that. Your job in the field team is to track the monsters, collect data, and advance the story. Our job is to take that data, analyze it, compile the findings for the commission. 
What to learn helps you out in the field too. So, you see, we need each other. I'll be here. Drop here anytime, I'll show you what we're working on. So, what is it? You can research is a facility that studies monsters. Uh, so can help you with your hunts and investigations. Gather monster tracks and like will earn you research points. Collect enough for your research level go up. Giving access to new features and intel that make your hunts easier. Also consult the monster field guide to view monster info. So habitat weaknesses, materials are carved, stuff like that. Uh, when you see report to the Ecological Research Team on the results screen, be sure to pay them a visit. High research menu item, you also find your um, scout flyers level, which determines their abilities. The higher scout flyer levels, the sooner your scout flyers will pick up the next set of monster tracks. Okay, so that's something I was misunderstanding before. I thought it was um, our handler's scout flyers, but we've. I've noticed in the training area that we actually have our own little lantern of scout flies. It's the green lantern on our belt. Small monster field guide. Jargus, there's the those are the ones we went up against. And those are the herbivores we saw in the glade as we passed by. But the information is a bit lacking in general. Okay. Oh, there's so many stairs in this place. <laughs> Don't get me wrong though, it looks really nice. Kind of concerning though how the sh a lot of ships are just embedded in the cliffside like they are. Okay, so she's back up here at the eatery. Uh, Fiver Bro. Hi Bro, how are you? <laughs> Partner's appetite that could put anyone to shame. What? A little arbalest? Uh, probably means my handler. In fact, we should we do need to cook ourselves up something. Uh, we can pay with money or we can overroast something for us. Well, let's pay the money, sure. Let's go with meat platter. Why not? I will probably start cutting out some of these, but it's like, um... <laughs> the head chef just adds a garnish to it. <laughs> uh... And they throw away the lid. Okay, thank you for that. Okay, I've got my temporary boost because I'm actually expecting to go out this time. So, I need to speak to you. Hello. Hey there, partner. Hi. Alright, next thing we need to do, take off of these uh, Kessadon. She said he's, he'd be tagging along with us. How about we start our search in the ancient forest and go from ah. there? Oh, I've got some good news. We handlers post all the leads we find up on the quest board. Sign up for quests there too, so you don't just have to come all the way up here. But then again, you might miss out on the eats up here. Yeah, we do want to get up quests from the quest board too. Thank you. It lists the same quest that I've got, so don't worry about having to check two places. We do want the eats though. We're on the hunt. There's first we search quest ones. Um. Post the quest. We have some signs, some optional, and some event stuff. Okay. Up at the crack of dawn. Well, and gas it. Uh, let them cool off in your area. Christian friends, please see if they've settled down. Um, slay 12 Kestagons without fainting three times. Okay, I've not actually fought a Kestagon before, though, so, you know. That, okay, that's completed. So we can redo the levels. I kind of want to test my weapon, so I want to rerun the first one. Take care of thugs. 
that bright moon to study. Problem was, mostly found in caves. Guess what? Those finds? That's right. Jargos. So, same enemies we went up against with the uh, shield and lance. You actually. When lucky vouchers are used when posting a quest, you receive bonus rewards upon completing quests. Be sure to use vouchers whenever you have the chance. Random quest rewards are guaranteed to drop. Uh, reward money doubles. Lucky vouchers obtained via login bonuses. One voucher is delivered each day. You can claim up to five days worth five vouchers at once. Also, you can only carry a maximum of five lucky vouchers at one time. So, yeah, you can't stop them massively. Can't do Accept the quest. Do I want to use a voucher? Um, no, I won't for this one because this is just a try run for my weapon. I will for the next one, so accept this quest. Thicket of Thugs. Okay. Yeah, you see that green lantern on my belt? That's where my scout flies are. <laughs> I only realised because they started highlighting like things like rock deposits and things. Okay, custom radio menu is used feature that allows you to register quick shortcuts to use items, combine items, and gestures and stickers. Much more. Customize radio menu from in there. Okay. Gameplay radio is also available. Click mouse while well, control. Gamepad shortcuts. Um, okay, I think I've got it. Lonely monsters on your own can get tough. You need to help. Uh, call the helps in the world. They can join your quest and lend a hand. Open menu screen. Hit the quest menu and select Fire SOS Flare. Your flare will show up on other players' quest boards. SOS flares will reach players in other online sessions too. During the expeditions, firing SOS is flare is the only way to play multiplayer. So. In an expedition, that's how I would call in Clinton and Elkari. When someone responds to an SOS flare, automatically join your queue in quest in progress. Set the game to manual set join request, you will receive a system message asking for permission to join the quest. To accept a quest, select join request, see this quest, and pick one you want. No penalty for rejecting a join request. Okay. Cool. Let's check our supply box. Anything good in here? Some food and that. Right. Slay seven Jarvis. Let's -a go. I should probably try hunting one of the herbivores as well, just to, just to get an idea of how to, to face those. Your wildlife map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. Okay, so yeah, the map's actually pretty good. Try and keep tabs, try to figure out where I'm going. I'm just roaming around a little bit, trying to explore, discover some more bits and bobs. And then I'll try provoking some animals for the actual combat testing I want to do. Yeah, I know this is probably not the most efficient use of my time, but it's like... I'm not exactly in a hurry here, you know? Not exactly in a hurry. Alright, time to go poke something. So, the way this works is... I've got my basic sword... Oh, thank you for putting it away while I was doing it. Basic sword, slash, slash, some alternate version of slashing, stuff like that. I got my shield, I can block on it. So far, so standard, right? But, this weapon actually has a couple of tricks to it. Um, if you notice top left, there's empty files. If I do basic slashing hits and stuff like that, that can build up charge, which I can then dump into those files to give me elemental uh, uses in this weapon's other mode, which is... Briefly showed you. Anyway, I can I can block, then I can combine it with my sword, and it turns into a massive axe. Very powerful, longer reach, slower, 
but this can also do elemental effects as well, if need be. So it's pretty darn nasty. And of course, I can just go ahead and drop it back into the base sword and shield as well. And of course, I can I can still just go around quite nicely. Sorry, Arbalest. So, you can see, more agile than I was with the um, shield and lance. So, let's actually go ahead and give this a try. So, will this aggro one? Will this aggro all? This I do not know. You can carve materials off of monsters. These materials Didn't are seem to matter, really. producing new equipment and upgrading what you have. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it seems like, um, yeah, these, these guys are pretty passive, so, yeah. Oh. I was thought they were going to fight me, but they, they didn't. That said, though, all they give me to give me is raw meat. So it's not, not really worth my time to bother them for the most part. And me doing that actually did stampede the entire herd. Uh, nope, go away. Mine. Mine. I thought for a moment I'd be able to do something with the birds, but uh, nope, they are just... I can't get feathers or anything from that. Okay. <laughs> we experiment, we try things. Sometimes they even work. You can fast travel back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. Okay, that is actually pretty good to know, thank you. Alright, here we go. I've actually got um, I need to get my shield charged up. Um, that clack got it loaded, and honestly, that went really well. So really quick, really easy. Paralyze probably my increased attack damage, but also much larger attack arcs this thing has in axe mode. One of the things I like about it. So though, I just have to be careful not to bog myself down in combo spamming, because it's like, if I'm in the middle of a combo, I can't move, and then that is a problem. Oh, here we go. Right, let's try this then. Um, oh. What I want to try, as soon as I stop randomly comboing... Oh, there's some, there's some behind me. Oh, hi. Oh, let me through, let me through, thank you. I want to try this into axe. Then, at into yep, there we go and as you can see I have now got well a main screen complete but my weapon is also overloading so I, that's one drawback of this thing I need to dump files but notice my shield is glowing that means my shield's got a much higher defense and because it's the axe head my axe also does a lot more damage as well so it's like um it's quite helpful. And it's also boosts my power a lot, but as you saw there, once my sword, start, sword starts overheating like that, it also starts to bounce very easily. So I do a lot less damage with it. So that's something to be aware of. I build up charges. If I overload on the charges, um, it doesn't matter if I dump too many files into my thing, but if I don't dump the files, my sword gets a lot weaker. 
And I need to charge those files anyway to charge up my actual shield and axe. Okay, so you let me. Okay, you get. Okay, so it's automatic timer, is it? I'm guessing it is. But, uh, yeah. Potentially, there's a very powerful axe work here. I just have to be aware of the charges to make full use of everything. Alright, got some Jarga scales, got some hide, shark claws, toadstools, bones. Got some. Fair bit, yeah, take it all. Yeah. And you gathered me some Malachite ore, thank you. Take that too. Gadget proficiency Vigor Wasp Spray. Okay. <laughs> I think maybe part of it is that I'm not using the base weapons, but it's like the, the attack pattern. I like a lot better than this than I did with the Lance as well. The Lance was like very focused on like directed thrust and direct precise character movement. This one has a lot more by way of broader attacks. Anyway, I just need to accept the character and kerfuffle now. So that's this one. So we've basically driven a herd of Kertrons in new territory. We need you to go out and thin the herd of headbutters. Uh there's no fail condition is time expires or faint three times. Other monsters that are Aptonoths, Murnus, and Jaguars. I'm guessing Murnus looks like a bird, but okay. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I forgot to check the thing to use the. Eh. Leave the quest, yeah. Cancel the quest. Good. So I can actually do that. So let's actually do this and let's actually go ahead and use a ticket this time. Okay, so yeah, I tried to click it, but I need to actually hit the button prompt to do that. So I think we're good to go. I just have to double check my buffs real quick. I have I don't know how long a food buff lasts. Oh, it seems like one mission. So I, I should go and reapply that. Oh well, off to the extremely talented chefs I go. Hunter's Platter. Will the, how different will this be? I feel like it's the same thing. Oh, yep. Yeah. Round. Well, yeah. That's because so far I'm just having, like, meats. So I got, I, got, I got the temporary boosts. And if I check in here. Yeah. So. I don't think that needs to apply every mission. I, I need to double check that, though. Our job is to call a certain number of Kestodon. Recently, their numbers have been getting out of hand. Want to get going? Okay, they're around here somewhere. Let's check my supply box. Take that stuff. We're on the hunt! Research and then thin out the herd. So, okay, so this is probably going to teach us how to research. We can take out both male and females. Just reference you can tell apart by the head shape. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. Oh, so, wait, am I killing the Kestons anyway? <laughs> that is these guys, isn't it? They, but this guy's leading me somewhere else. Ah, there we are. Those, my friend, are Kestodon. Let's see you take him out on your own. Huh. Where's the grass grain? It must be because of the Magos. So, okay, so they're not normally here. But I do need to do something about these guys. Tell by the head, so... Be careful! 
That's a male. Oh, the male is actually... If you're, if you're hitting multiple things, it can be kind of all right. Let's look for another group. Easy to overload the the uh, sword. Be careful. The Castadon are the least of your worries. There are a lot bigger monsters lurking in this forest. The endemic life around here can come in handy during a hunt. Try to learn as much as you can about them. Okay, um, let's hit you. Oh, these guys are just passive grades, they aren't actually part of the hunt targets, it seems. Yeah, notice I've once again overloaded my, my sword very quickly. That's Over something here. I need to work on. Oh, these guys are these guys aren't even the right ones. These are astropaths. Okay, sorry, aptonoths, not astropaths. <laughs> I think he didn't say astropath either, but it's like you know. Oh dear. So I didn't need need to kill these guys at all. Also, about need a max on food. Let's actually get my sword and shield sword. Over here. Up. There we go, that's loaded, and then load those vials into my main shield, and because my shield is having fun, let's go ahead and actually do a bit of maintenance on it as well, because this will help. The only thing is that my shield boost is actually a limited t time duration on it, so Over here. it's not beneficial to do that outside of combat, you know? It's last a couple of minutes. I'm coming, I'm coming. Right, so we need to go this way? But yeah, I can, I can reapply as long as I've got a couple of vials, but um, from what I've read, the duration is actually tied to how many vials I use to charge it in some way. Over here. But that's a minimum activation requirement as well, which is two vials? Or, well, more than one. Down there, the rest of the herd. Be careful. A lot more this time, so be careful not to get boxed in. Well, that's what we've got the axe for. I'll stick some stone. And we are fine for healing. We haven't done anything. Weapons all good. We are okay. Take the fire herb, though. How dare you interrupt me there. Yeah, you see, the big combos can be a bit of an issue. Wow, they are actually knocking me around a fair bit. Yeah, I'm still trying to get the combos work. down for these. <laughs> that just about wraps up our work here. <laughs> right. Hey, come here. I was, found something. Also throwing me was the explosions there, but I've got to remember, this Guardian has actually got some blast elements on it, so that's where those are coming from. The one I was practicing with until now only had the electric effects on it. So that's kind of important to take note of. I wasn't expecting explosions. Over here! I know, I know. I am currently busy harvesting. Here. Okay, now how did you do that? <laughs> Tell me! Mm. I must know! Look at those Kestodon. Kestodon, because something's up. Uh, they be... <laughs> oh! That's my looking. Knew it. Big changes happening in the ecosystem. A greater Jargus. Now, now. 
Superman says, great job, this is bad news for us, we need to take it down. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, did okay, I? Partner. New assignment incoming. Take down that great Jagras. If you're not now ready, use the SOS flare before to, to use it to bring a party of sufficient size. Later. Wanna get going? Okay, okay, give me a second. I wasn't done down here when he yanked me up there. The menu and select SOS flare to signal him. And you're going to need friends when you go up against some of the tougher monsters. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, we need to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. This is also how we research, right? I'm fine for stone. I just need to figure out what I'm doing. We're fine for herbs, we're fine for potions, we're fine for a lot of stuff. Let's wet stone. So our uh, uh, sword is all well and good. Absolute peak condition. So we're not, not any problems there. And then I will actually switch back to... Actually, you know, let's have a bit of food, shall we? Can I do a bit of this? Can I do a bit of food? Of it? Hmm. Burnt meat. Okay. So I actually need to watch this. I don't know how to pull off that. I will I will master this, darn it. I don't know how to stop it from burning that. <laughs> okay. Clues say this way, but scout flies are pointing at something down this way. I genuinely thought I'd actually found the monster, but nope, I'm still following the tracks. I don't, I don't know why I'm making gunpowder either. Okay, we've tracked the Great Jagras enough for the scout flies to lead us to it. Okay, so that's how that, that's how that works. Scout flies are pointing us to in that general direction over there. What are you? Bright moss. Oh, it's a more alternate for my slinger, which I'm still barely know how to use. Um I'll grab some bright moss then sure. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. Okay, so that's how we do that. Focus camera. Hi. That was interesting. Why it didn't want to fight us, apparently. It's just quite happily wandering around. I mean, I'll take it. Sure. Scanners. You can use scatter not as slinger ammo. It's good for staggering monsters. Okay, so there's the main Jargus. There's some regular Jargus. Alright, let's go ahead and do this then. <laughs> Let's do this. Whack, whack, whack. Let's stop and cut them. 
bodies. Yeah. I think they went after my little pal rather than me. That says I am getting some research from finding the old tracks there. So that is adding up steadily. But uh, I'm not trying to farm it. I am honestly now considering just doing the hunt. So, you're out here now, are you? Come on then. Ah, it's out here having a little bit of fun. Okay, right. forget you can guard too. Now's your chance. Alright, come on then. Watch out when the monster's enraged. It's better to hold off on your claw until things calm down. Oh boy, that monster's really mad now. Be ready for some vicious attacks. Look, the monster's almost done for. Chances are it'll retreat to its nest to recuperate. That's a piercing pot, a powerful type of slinger ammo. That's able to pierce the thick shell of monsters. This isn't going too badly, all considered. I'm still falling into the trap of, like, not paying attention to my combos too well. Okay, here we are, buddy. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Charged, and... I just need to get my sword back in usable condition. There we go. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah, whacking. Okay. okay. Let's head back and report to the old man. Well, we did it. We. Did... I did charge my shield up before I went in there, so I was hitting at full power, and then I went to unleash an elemental shot as well. So I didn't exactly go easy on that, and it seemed like it was enough to just burst it down. I'm not sure how well it was recovering. I didn't. Really pay attention to a health bar, must admit. So, that's something's worth noting. Grab you. Flashflies, okay, you help light things up. Good to know you exist, actually. Oh, hi. Must complete scavenging. Timer is almost done. But hey, my first big monster hunt. Went pretty well, actually. Really smooth. I am truly a great hunter. <laughs> no, I I know it's going to get harder from here. Yeah, hi guys. Nice of you to turn up after it's all done. 
Oh, leading towards. I think we got a lead. Feathers. Hmm. Not face anything with feathers yet. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Now, what are you going to show me? <laughs> oh, hey. Hello. <laughs> A pukey pukey. Well, you were right. There's our mark. Oh, seems to be aware. Yep, it, it notices movement. So something's got him agitated. Oh, <laughs> that might that might work. <laughs> Look over there. <laughs> what in the heck is that? I've never I seen anything like it. I think it's from the uh, you dragon think it's we from found. Magdaros? I think so. I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. Alright? Oh, fine. Leave it be for now. But yeah, something like that crashing down in a, a local beast's home like that, that is good grounds for agitation, yeah. Especially if it crushed something important or blocked something important. So they've got a lot of stuff out of that. Take it all. Yeah. Lots of bones, manes, scales, all sorts of do that. Yes, please. Pelico gathered blue mushroom, malachite ore, and some more monster bone. Yep, take it all that as well. Batch of bones doubled it. <laughs> okay, good to know. And now I can take on two star appointments. Okay, welcome to the new world. I have done a thing. Zero offense as well, but um, honestly, between the bonuses I've got on the current gear, yeah. Question is, when does the game count you as no longer being a new hunter? I am get the feeling it's going to happen. I see. Fairly soon? Then again, that, that was pretty simple. So it's like, um, I'm guessing it's like good against basic stuff, but this isn't a more specialized armor set. It's Buffs are kind of generic. And I know that more specialized stuff does exist later. So that might be when this thing starts to fall off in power. I don't know. Um, so you think you found something that leads us to Zara Magdros. Well, I'd send some research out right now, but not with a yeah, piss, pissed off pukey pukey hanging around. Uh -huh. Pukey Pukey Territory, that's pretty deep in the forest. We'd better, we'd be better equipped to take it on. Once our team from the resource center is done rebuilding the forest camp, once it's ready, we make our move. Want to get going? Tell them, do anything we can to help them get that camp up and running. Let's get to it. Okay. Once the camp is set up, you can go after that Puke Puke. Hmm. Puke Puke, not Pukey Pukey. Okay. Speak to the provision manager to set up a camp. I noticed Clint's already got like the achievement setting up five camps, so it's like they they were way ahead of me. Hi, right, provisions camp. Manager, what can you do? Oh, you are too good to me. All five, is it true? You're going to help us rebuild the camp? Excellent news. Hope you're as good as they say you are. If so, we have plenty of work for you. After all, the commission studies lots of things, not just the elder dragon you came here with. We didn't bring that here just to be clear. Maintaining and improving the base is a full plate of tasks in itself. Can't study anything without a proper HQ, after all. The resource Center here is in charge of divvying up all that work and making sure it gets done. <laughs> so, back to business. Your job is to establish a camp. Go on an expedition into the ancient forest, find a viable campsite, and make sure it's safe. If any monsters have decided to do any camping in your spots, you'll need to chase them off. Don't let me down. Got it. The bounties for establishing the camp. New critical bounty is available. Rebuild the ancient forest camp. Rebuild. Ooh. Two points of research and a voucher. Thank you. Research and oversees research, research requests, and manages the resources required for investigations. Two bounties. Register beforehand, whereas delivery requests can be completed just by handing the items. 
When you lock investigation, join quests and expeditions. Check in with the resource centers to make them available as special quests. Bounties are mission complete over the course of your quest and expeditions. First, check for critical bounties, then pick a register bounty. Take multiple bounties at once. Most bounties require you to reward you with armor spheres and research points. Complete the bounty, drop by the resource center to collect the rewards. Uh, select up to six from the list to accept. The list is updated when you return from a quest or position, so check back frequently. Uh, critical bounties unlock new facilities or upgrade existing ones and are automatically accepted. Completed in parallel with the registered bounties and with one another. Limited bounties are offered periodically to online users around the world and available limited time only. When the next limited bounty is released, it will overwrite the previous one. If you want to complete them all, be sure to keep an eye out for the expiration dates. So I've not got any registered bounties. There are some requests, but we're not there yet. The critical is rebuild that ancient camp. And there's no current limited ones available. Okay. The world is slowly getting bigger. Okay. Let's get this expedition underway. Meet me at the gate. Hang your horses. Um, I need to speak to biology. Good to see you. Hunter, since you established yourself. Words. Ah, uh, Hunter, since you established yourself as a reliable presence here, I'd like to make a little request. When investigating large monsters, you can either slay or capture them. Okay, tell me more. Naturally, both have their scientific merits, but frankly. You can embark on an expedition just by heading out through the gate. Or you can use the world map. Whatever's easiest for you. Thank you, team lead. Uh, it'd be better for our long term research to receive a live specimen that we can later return to the wild. So if you capture a quarry alive, you'll be commended for it and receive greater rewards. Commission rules. Good luck. How about it? Capture your targets instead of slaying them, and you'll be making a great contribution to our efforts here. Hmm. Okay, so capturing them. Um I vaguely remember reading that that's like um impact attacks to heads is good for that. And so weapons with impact files can count usually. And actually my weapon has an impact file, so should be alright. So shoot, say so picks up um so my ghost trail? I hope so. I'm placing bets with others that you're a hunter who's going to bring back the ghosts. Don't let me down. So, what is it? Field upgraded with the Great Jargus. And I think my research level went up. It did on the Great Jargus, yes. Current research level, monster field guide level 2. Scout fly bonus to help finding them. Um, don't have any actual guidance to track, guidance monster destination, so that's need to do more hunts with it. Next level, tell me material info, uh, points, and scout value will increase. There's also Puki Puki for the Anja and the Zora. Of course, the Zora Medagos is here. We've encountered it, but there's no guidance at all for how to do, deal with it. Of course not. Well, that's Gesture Drone, though. Get the shells and scraps, low rank materials. Oh, does, does it, if it says low rank materials, does that mean there's high ranking versions of these as well? Aptonoths, I'm going to leave alone, honestly. Charges can be blocked, leaving them open to attacks. Okay. And known habitats has updated, that wasn't there before. Alright. I'm making progress. Yay! 